One more video for this year. This one's going to be a little bit on the crazy side. I'm going to demo a small quadrocopter called the Crazy Fly. This is version 2.0. Uh, just started shipping last week, just in time for Christmas. A small group of engineers in Sweden started this project a couple years ago. Their goal was to create an open source hackable small quadrocopter basically a flying circuit board. Um, now the physics of flying dictate that the smaller you make something, the quicker it can spin, turn, and accelerate, etc. Now the downside to this agility is it makes these things really hard to fly manually. Uh, now we can automate the flying with computer um, feedback of various types. We'll talk about that uh, later. But for now, all I've done is uh, to manually control this thing. You have a couple options there. You can try to use uh, one of these uh, smartphone apps, like this Android app. And this will give you control of the thrust, the rotation, called the yaw, the pitch, and the roll. But unless you have the agility of a 15-year-old, I do not, you're going to need um, a game, gaming controller. You can get uh, inexpensive PS3 controller like this for 20 bucks. This helps a lot, these dedicated uh, joysticks. Even with that, you're going to need a large space and extra parts. Uh, this thing was designed so that the parts that will break, because you're, you're going to crash a lot. Parts that break most frequently are the inexpensive propellers and these motor mounts. See, this one uh, is already broken. I've, I've already replaced the, these uh, four times. So I'm going to take you out of the garage now, and I'm going to try to demo this by flying with this and filming with my camera at the same time. I'm predicting a disaster. Okay, in our nice big garage with our retriever ready to go. First thing we'll do is we'll push the tiny little button here and it'll power it up. It'll do a little self-test, run each prop quickly. Uh, then we connect up the controller to the uh, Android smartphone via this on-the-go cable. Then we connect up via low-energy Bluetooth, like so. And then we're off to the races. So, see if we can not crash it too much. So, then we can go side to side. Forward and... Uh, whoops, forward and back. And I can rotate it. And I go up and down a lot because my hovering skills are not that good. Basically the goal is to keep it oriented in one direction so you know that forward and backward, side to side, do what you expect. And then we crash and the retriever goes into action. <laughs> good boy. No, it's over there. <laughs> Probably just as well he doesn't retrieve. <laughs> itchy butt season. So I taught my crazy fly a crazy trick. I added a subroutine to my home automation system, which I control via this smartwatch, to do a voice recognition command to launch the fly. Fly the crazy fly. And that will cause the home computer behind fly me to download via RF, you can see the activity on that LED, commands to ramp up the motor, hopefully hover for a bit, well, it's for the hovering for a bit. <laughs> it's supposed to hover and then land nicely. At least the doggy did not get a haircut. He's happy about that. Fly the crazy fly. That will cause the computer behind me to download some fly instructions. See that LED downloading them. To ramp up the motors, hover for a bit, and then ramp down. Hopefully, without destroying anybody. Oh, no, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> That's oh well. Oh, still alive. Okay, settle down, little guy. Okay, let's try this one more time. Fly the crazy fly. Fly the crazy fly. I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, wrapping up. Flying. Flying, 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 on. Whoa, well, no terrible crashes. 
All pets are in So deck. over here we have the Crazy Fly Hospital. It has <clears throat> all the spare parts we need for when we break things, along with a couple of accessories like this uh, red, green, blue LED ring. <clears throat> so you can envision this attaches to the bottom of the Crazy Fly. So you can envision this flying around at night, scaring various people with lots of light shows. The other accessory, which is exclusive, you can only have one of these at a time, is this QI wireless charger. So uh, it allows you just to put the Crazy Fly down on a charger and have it charge uh, without any wires. Like for example, this Panasonic charger is clever because it will find wherever you put your device and charge it without precise alignments. You can see the little blue ring spaceship finding the center of this phone. If we ever got to the point where this crazy fly could actually land in a four inch square, you could envision it landing and automatically getting charged up by the blue spaceship. The, um, over here you can see the Linux box that was I was using uh, controlling via the smartwatch to send the radio frequency commands to hover with. Um, that is a uh, Got the software installed from the Crazy Fly team uh, manually. Over here, I have the virtual box that the Crazy Fly. Let me grab my Crazy Fly here. The Crazy Fly team provides and allows you to um, not have to manually install any software. So that was my Linux box over there. But over here, we just get a free virtual machine. This is the Oracle one. And it has all the Crazy Fly software installed. And including the client, which allows you to quickly connect the RF to the the Crazy Fly. And you can see it's monitoring the angles, uh, various positions of the Crazy Fly. Uh, it also has the ability to plot any of the measurements that the Crazy Fly takes. For example, uh, it has a barometric pressure sensor in it, which is what it uses for a very crude estimation of altitude. You see as I raise the crazy fly up, that plot goes high, and as I raise uh, lower the crazy fly, you can see the barometric pressure reading going lower. Now it's only accurate to within, I don't know, half a foot or so, but um, that's better than nothing. That allows you to have some crude hovering routines without having to have a heavier and more expensive ultrasonic transducer in there. Um, so I think that's about it. It's, uh, the end game for this is you have some sort of other likely external sensor installed so that you can do a much more accurate feedback to the computer so you can correctly, uh, quickly and accurately control the position and uh, acceleration of the crazy fly. There are some really amazing demos by some of the universities around the world that, uh, that have these expensive camera systems that bounce infrared light off of your device. And, sorry, the sunlight there. Um, and they have these crazy flies doing crazy things like flying through small openings and they got fleets of crazy flies that, not crazy flies, but nano quadcopters. I'll put some links in the, in the um, show notes and you can watch those videos and be amazed whether that ever makes it into a home or not um, with uh, at an affordable price remains to be seen but if it does i'll i'll be back until then um, that's it for this year later